It seems like every week there's a new study on the health benefits and downfalls of drinking coffee. But when all the factors are considered, is it good for us or bad for us? And how many cups can we actually drink? Health and wellness reporter Zelana Momini is here to break it all down for us. Hi, Z. Hi, Matt. Yeah, coffee is many people's go-to morning beverage. And more and more research is coming out that it might not be so bad after all. So I'm going to talk about the pluses and minuses and give you my verdict on whether it really is good or bad. Okay, finally, some yes, answers. Exactly. Why has it been going back and forth all this time? You know, it's an interesting question. Earlier studies didn't take into account some of the more high-risk behavior that's associated with heavy ca coffee consumption, like smoking and being sedentary, not being as active. So newer studies are really taking this into account, controlling for that when they're looking at the results. So it's more valid. Okay, research. so what are the latest results saying? So the latest large study that looked at coffee benefits showed that it does lower our risk of death, whether or not we're drinking caffeinated or decaf coffee. So that's really positive news. It's not strong enough to suggest that non-drinkers should all of a sudden start drinking coffee, but there's definitely no risk and there are some benefits. That's some real positive news. It's really no, positive. It slows definitely. down death. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So is it because of the caffeine or the actual coffee? It's itself? because of the actual coffee. Um, another study recently came out that showed that it lowers our risk of chronic diseases such as Alzheimer's and dementia and can lower aging issues such as, you know, motor developmental or cognitive issues as we age. So these brain protective effects are due to the high antioxidant levels in the coffee, not just the caffeine. Okay. So does the caffeine have any benefits? Yeah, it does. Um, studies have shown that caffeinated coffee does decrease risk of diabetes um, and also can change our DNA within our muscles similar to the effect that we get when exercising so that doesn't mean we have to stop exercising but it does mean that we can change our muscle structure if we drink co so caffeinated if we coffee dr drink enough <laughs> does it cause weight loss well you know Caffeine, caffeine in about one cup of coffee can speed up your me metabolism about 15% temporarily, right? So the key word there is temporary. Okay. And it can suppress our hunger. Um, again, not long term, so it doesn't lead to weight loss. No. All right. What other information came out with this study? Um, a study in the Journal of Cancer Research showed that it can decrease our risk of getting one of the most common forms of skin cancer, basal cell carcinoma. So that's extremely positive. Yeah, and exciting. that's becoming more and more common. Exactly. So what, what, what are, the, we've heard a lot of the positive right. about this, but what are some of the negative effects? Because there has to be some. There are. I mean, women who are pregnant or receiving fertility treatment should definitely talk to their doctors about caffeine consumption, coffee consumption in general. Um, if you're struggling with insomnia and depression, you know, high caffeine, yeah. over four cups a day can cause restlessness and anxiety and a myriad of other issues. So definitely you want to reduce your consumption there. And regular use does cause dependency. So if you stop drinking coffee abruptly, you will get you know, headaches and fatigue over a day or two. And so, so many coffee drinks now, you go to these coffee shops, they have sugar and cream just right. pumped into them right. and you no. can't be having that. It's just added calories to your diet. You don't want any of that. So you can use healthier alternatives if you need a sweet or creamy drink. Use, you know, almond milk or agave. Okay. You know, there's lots of options. So, okay. Okay. Drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> Is coffee good or bad for us? It's good. I mean, okay. the health benefits definitely outweigh the risks. As long as you're not pregnant, you're not getting fertility treatments, drink in moderation, less than four cups a day and you're good to go. Okay, so four cups. Four or less.